What's going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NBA, talking about LeVar Ball. Yes, the father of Alonzo Ball, who is projected to be a top two pick in the NBA draft in this upcoming draft. And he's got all uh, two other kids, actually, who are pretty good basketball players in Lamelo Ball and Lee Angelo Ball. So, um, here just to talk about LeVar Ball and sort of the news that he's made in the media with his sort of outlandish comments. You know, he said a lot of stuff um, in the media. He's been on multiple outlets like Fox Sports, most notably. And he's come out and said, you know, stuff like Steph Curry uh, is not better than my son. Put uh, Lonzo on Golden State and put Steph Curry on UCLA. See what happens. He's called out Charles Barkley. Um, saying that he he's a better parent than Charles Barkley or he would win a championship if he had the attitude that Charles Barkley doesn't have that LaVar Ball does. He's talked about how he would beat Michael Jordan in his heyday. Um, it, it's just a bunch of outlandish things, and I'm not making this up. You can go look it up. He said all of these things. And to me, the biggest thing here is, again, I just want to preface my comments by saying this because it's a very sensitive topic. I am in no way, shape, or form saying anything about LeVar Ball's parenting skills that is not for me to judge. For me, all I'm trying to say is all of these comments LeVar Ball is making, in one way or another, it is sort of making an impact on his kid's future, most notably Lonzo, because he's the one who's going to be in the draft. And LeVar Ball isn't sort of realizing that. He's saying, oh, this shouldn't deter anything from a team drafting man, and, and it won't. He will definitely be drafted, and he'll definitely be a top five pick. But my point being is, let me give you a scenario. Let's say a team like the Timberwolves, um, you know, or, or a team um, like, let's say, the Suns, you know, who are one of the worst teams who are in the lottery, right? They get to draft, and they have a top two, three, four pick, and they think about taking Alonzo Ball. And then they think, you know, his dad's come out and said that he wants his son to play for the Lakers. Um... If we draft him after his rookie contract, what's to say that his dad won't sort of influence him to leave our team? Now we're investing all this money in him, and just for what? For, for four years, and then he can leave after his rookie contract when he's a free agent, or he can for, sort of force his way out? What if he doesn't want to be here? All of these things, like I said, he will still be drafted, but all of these things will play a part in in GM's head when they look to interview Alonzo Ball come draft time and they want to see what type of influence his dad has on him, on his decision making, on the type of things that he's going to do, on the type of player he's going to be. Again, all of these stuff off the court, I'm not going to say it's going to affect his on the play, uh, uh, on the court play, but I'm talking about all of the other stuff that comes with being an NBA player. So, that's just the thing here. It's sort of like, oh, now we got to deal with LeVar Ball too because we drafted Lonzo and he's going to be very heavily involved in his life. And so it's just, again, giving GMs a cause to pause. Um, and that's just something where I feel like, you know, it's kind of unnecessary. Um, I, I think Lonzo Ball would be better without it. Like I said, I'm not here to judge LeVar Ball's parenting skills. He's done a great job raising his kids. But I'm just going to say that I think he should sort of lessen the amount of attention that he's drawing towards himself and his kids and again he is sort of making it about himself instead of his kids even if he says otherwise because the actions show that so that's just my biggest thing here I feel like NBA teams will sort of get the wrong impression or they'll think twice because they think oh Lonzo Ball might leave or something and it's just very unnecessary and it can totally be avoided. So that's just my thing here. Let me know what you guys think about LeVar Ball in his comments, the type of influence that he has on his son, and whether or not you agree or disagree. Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.